Where do you think I'm going? I was bored. Everything's done in my house. I don't know what to do with myself. Anyway, before we start this, in case you want to know, this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And I don't even know what it's called. I don't want to crash. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I've been wearing it for years. Or it's some famous person anyway. So why I'm going to the States again, other than I have a mental illness, is that I, I'm so bored with the same areas that I go to. So I thought I'd look online and find a new area that has everything. And I did. I hope I find it. I don't think it's very far from where I usually go. And they've got a Hobby Lobby, they've got a Target, they've got a, a Home Goods. And I really miss my, the typical Home Goods where I used to go, they closed it. And they changed the area, made it smaller. I don't enjoy it anymore. I never find anything that I really like. It's not very big, I guess. Anyway, so hopefully, cross your fingers, this one's going to have some good stuff. Not that I need anything. I just like looking. I'm a sick person. I can't help it. I say, okay, I'm not buying anymore till, till fall. I'll just buy, you know, a few pieces of clothing or makeup or, you know, hair things that I need. And I'm all set to do that. And then I get to the store and I see decorations again. I need to be put in in solitaire, like confinement, something. Somebody has to lock me up or tie me to something that I can't go out. I'm my own worst enemy anyway. So what I'm trying to say is here is they have a Hobby Lobby, a Target, a Michaels, a TJ Maxx, a Mark um, Marshalls, a Trader Joe's, and they have a store that I haven't been in for a long time called Cracker Barrel. And I only saw that, well, it was a restaurant in Florida with a little gift shop in it, I guess. So I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see what that's all about. I think the main reason I'm going is um, I wanna see this home goods. Yes, so that's where I'm off to. You know, we complain when it's cold, we complain when it's hot. We dream of summer when it's winter. And the minute I go outside and my hair frizzes, I wanna go back in the air conditioning. When I was a kid, there was no air conditioning. We opened the windows and we sweated. And we enjoyed it. We were kids. So we had popsicles and jumped in the pool, right? Now it's like, my hair. I never seem to have a good hair day anymore, even in the winter. So anyway, I'll see you there. I might take you along with me if I don't get too excited. Okay, so I looked at the lipstick, it's called Live It Up. And of course they were after some celebrities, so it's after Liv Tyler. Let me in. Let me in, let me in. Thank you. I've been meaning to tell you about these new nails that I found. Um, I found them in the States in the Walmart there, and they are beautiful. I've always wanted something glittery, but like I can't do it myself because the diamonds are so hard, but these ones aren't bad. Anyway, it's by Kiss, and they are coffin shaped when you purchase them, but I rounded them out so they're more oval. So there's a whole bunch of different types. There's some just with glitter, and then there's some with diamonds stuck on it. So I did all glitter, but this one here has diamonds. And I bought another pack last time I went to the States. I can't be without these now. They're so pretty. You know, I do a lot of decorating videos, but I think I'm gonna start doing some vlogs again because I've decorated my house for the summer. There's not much more I can decorate. Um, so I'm gonna just take you along with me in my days. I'm not sure if you're too interested in that, but that's what a lot of YouTubers do and you seem to be interested in theirs. Maybe I'm boring, I don't know. Citizenship, 
Canadian. What's the purpose of your trip? Shopping. Right, do you have anything to declare? No. Going back today? Yes. Thank you. Same to you. Maybe he'd like to tie me up. <laughs> Cute car. Little blue sports car. So I never showed you the store inside because it looks like every other home goods. But this is another one I found, I'd say half an hour away from where I usually go. So I'm happy. They had some good stuff. Off to a store called Cracker barrel and I haven't been there since I've been to Florida but it used to be a restaurant I'm not sure if this is a restaurant and a little gift shop but I'll let you know I might just let you see it so here's the deal I am going to try to make an umbrella stand for my backyard um, with a plants planter oh my god and um, I'll have to get some help from my son for that one because I can't lift the cement and the other thing I'm gonna to try to make again is another fountain. The fountain that you've seen on my porch is an old fountain that doesn't work anymore and I just placed a big bowl on top with a, a small little pump. The only problem with that is that the bowl is white and the pump is black. So you kind of see it, but I'm thinking I might just put a little PVC pipe around that uh, cord and it'll be white. And then now what I'm trying to do is on the other side where my loungers is, it'd be nice to have a nice water feature. And sorry, it's too windy in here. So I'm, I just bought a big plastic bowl, an outdoor planter that looks like a big bowl. And it's kind of a dark, dark gray. And I'm thinking to get another planter and place that on top and put a pump in it. And it will be another little water feature. Because the fountains these days are starting at $200, if you're lucky. I'm looking around here, there's a Michaels, an Old Navy right beside it. Ooh, a Walmart, Alta. And on this side, a liquor store, too bad I can't have any. And he says this pickle, no, pickle barrel, no. Pickle, what's it called? Barrel, something barrel, I just said it. Cracker barrel, it's on this side. It's a whole nother little town I never, I've never been to, and it's called Williamsville. And this hopeless and crime is gonna love this area. Everything's on one strip. And you know who I'm talking about. It's the day after. I really was exhausted when I got home. I'm getting too old for this. I used to be able to go to every single store, I'm talking every single store, and not be tired. Now, I go to maybe six stores, <laughs> I'm dead. So anyway, I come home to 
my son freaking out because he was installing a front door for me and there's pieces missing so now I got to go to Home Depot and get the pieces but it looks good so far I've had the same front screen door for 36 years it was so outdated and ugly and so we put in a new one and it looks good So now I'm just off to my daughter's place to give her to give her a few things that I bought for her daughter and her son because I can't go to the States without buying things for them. Of course you know that. So like I said, I'm going to vlog and my days are not that exciting but something to watch, right? See what other people are doing. My house looks like a bomb. Hit it. I don't know what it is. I've got grown children, but when I go, uh, when I leave for the day, I come back, uh, so-called dishes soaking in the sink. That's a good term to put it. Pretend you're, you, you're, you're thinking of me by soaking the dishes. Now, soak it, wash it, dry it, put it away. I don't know. I guess I'm just a dead mother for life. So I'm not going to do a big haul. It's not that much to talk about, but I did buy a couple of things. I bought a dress. I bought some earrings because I thought this time I'm going to buy things for myself. So I bought about four pairs of earrings, like real ones for a change. Because I always have just, um, well, I have costume jewelry, but they don't, they don't last on me. They tarnish. So I try to buy sterling silver and plate, gold plated. That's as far as I'm gonna get, because if I buy the pure 100% stuff, it's gonna cost me a fortune, and these are good enough for my earrings, because you know what? Half the time I lose them or I dent them. So I have, I have real gold ones, and I dented them. So these are good for now. What else did I buy? I bought things for the kids. I bought some pickles. I love these certain pickles from Walmart in the States are kosher pickles, sliced for sandwiches. And what all about the cheese grits and the cornbread and the biscuits. So I should have lived in Florida. One day, one day I'm going to have some sort of residence there. If Even if it means just renting something for part of the year. After all, I am almost a senior. <laughs> a snowbird oh my god I can't even believe I'm saying that to me those people were dinosaurs and now I'm a dinosaur what happened wow that's why you're supposed to appreciate every day before you hit dinosaur age okay let's go back to what I bought I bought something to make a fountain I bought a few floral pieces and I bought some flameless candles for my lights outside and I bought some pot holders they were a really good deal there's there are the macrame pot holders that you get in the gift shops like for 10 bucks each and I got three really nice cream colored ones for $9.99 at home goods and what I use them for, I don't use them for pot holders. I use them for underneath hot dishes on the table. And what else did I buy? Oh, I bought these really cute dishes by Ray Dunn. They're little snack plates and they all have a different saying on it. And the reason why I bought it, because one of them says nosh and our family always, always makes comments. We always say nosh. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I got a really cute sign that I already have one in big, the flower marketplace. I couldn't resist it. It was a small one and it was $5. You know, I'll find a place for that. I guess that's it. 
it's not haul worthy. Oh, you know what else? I gotta find. I gotta find a black and white umbrella in Home Depot or Walmart. Hopefully, I'll find one. If not, I can always order one from Amazon. I'm gonna join the Amazon Associate soon because living in Canada, everything's American owned, so it's really not easy for me to be an affiliate or an associate. <laughs> but Amazon, I can. I just have to get it connected to my computer. It's a big spiel. So I'm gonna figure that out and then I can link all the things that I buy from Amazon because lately I've been buying quite a bit from Amazon. Really nice things. So it's been raining for two days straight and this is what my yard looks like in the dampness. My peonies, I should have put a, one of those cages on it so they stand up. <laughs> my daisies came out, look how perfect. Show you how I did this fountain. What I used was a plant stand and a pot. I found at Home Goods. It looks like cement, but it's plastic. And I put a pump in it with some stones, some water, and then I had an old pot down here that I hid the cords in. Simple. If you want a fountain, get a plant stand and a pot. And, and of course, a pump. But it looks so serene back there with the palm tree in front of it. I'm really glad I bought this pot, this black and white Harlequin design. I just love it. I'll show you my parents' fountain. This has been around for since I was about eight years old. It fell over last year and it cracked. I don't know who pushed it over. Wind can't be pushing it over. But we're gonna clean it up and maybe I'll put a fountain in this one or maybe I'll just put some flowers. First the flowers died, so I put these full flowers. I think they look like um, dandelions when they come to uh, when they're dying, what are they called? You know, the things we used to blow on when we were a kid. So I just thought they would look so cute in this vase, this old vintage mason jar. And my flowers on Medusa's head are coming along. Beautiful. Wish that I could stay. 